Ngata ngakimak Ngata eriamun Mata Bwana asifiwe Basi Mimi kwanza nataka nichukue nafasi hii Niwashukuru viongozi pamoja na wananchi wa hapa Turkana County na marafiki zetu wote walio tutembelea siku ya leo We are here to celebrate the inspiring traditions and the strong dynamic culture of Kenya's proud and beautiful Turkana people and to witness the power of their ancient wisdom to transform our present and prepare us for our future. We are also here to experience the magical attractions of these region's scenic attractions, historic wonders, and other touristic delights. Just like Kenya, Turkana is the beautiful home of a beautiful people, diverse, warm, vibrant, hospitable, and optimistic. Turkana has endured for countless millennia as the focal stage of humanity's most vital undertakings. Thousands of years ago, it was the site of humanity's first home. It is the scene of robust cultural activity bridging the past and the present, uniting Kenya's diverse communities into one strong, forward-looking nation and connecting Kenya and Africa to the rest of the world. I commend the Turkana County Government for supporting the Turkana Culture and Tourism Festival, famously known as Tobongu Lore and for facilitating it to project the essential character of these region's communities and their cultures. I also want to assure the organizers of this event that this year, the government of Kenya has released 49 million shillings to continue to support this event going into the future. In so doing, this culture has enabled the festival to go beyond mere annual celebration and evolve into a continuous project that unites the pastoral communities of northern Kenya and neighboring regions and countries, including West Pokot, Samburu, Marsabit, and Karamoja. The effect of this ambitious vision is to bring into sharp focus the distinct cultural identity of the Turkana people, thus fostering a deeper appreciation of its role and potential to promote diversity and cohesion across borders. This festival has become a central event which goes a long way to position Turkana as a top destination for cultural tourism and Northern Kenya as a vast territory of abundant investment potential. Through Tobongulore, local and international visitors come here and come here while coming home to celebrate the wonders of magical Kenya with us, raising the region's profile on the global tourism map. Beyond celebrating our heritage, the festival fulfills the aspirations of many by creating various opportunities and delivering invaluable benefits to the local economy. I appreciate the, consider the consideration given by the organizers to artisans who have found a platform to display traditional material culture and market handcrafted products that reflect the exquisite craftsmanship that Turkana is famous for. I have been through the different displays here of art and craft that speak to a great people with a great destiny. Their work enriches the festival and sustains livelihoods, bridging tradition with commerce 
and connecting enterprising Kenyans with visitors from near and far. Consequently, these artisans serve as our cultural ambassadors, deepening global connections with the Turkana heritage. This festival also serves to reaffirm our commitment to the preservation of the Turkana heritage and indeed all indigenous culture as our legacy to future generations. And in so doing, it enables us live up to our national cultural policy and align with international frameworks, including UNESCO 2003 Convention for the Safeguarding of Intangible Cultural Heritage and the 2005 Convention on the Promotion of Cultural Diversity. These institutions and instruments are brought to life by the traditions, performances, art, craft, and stories we celebrate here today. Culture, ladies and gentlemen, is not static. Rather, it is a living, creative, and dynamic expression of a society's values and a society's aspirations. The UNESCO frameworks highlight the need to protect traditions passed through generations and promote creativity in a globalized world. Tobongu Lore embodies these principles uniting cultural expression with global connectivity to create economic opportunities and ensure that traditions thrive for years to come. Looking to the future, I am proud to announce that the government of Kenya has embarked on the development of the Kenya Home of Humanity and Home of Human Origins Museum and Science Park a transformative project that will establish, that will be established at Nomortunga in Kalokol as a world-class center for scientific research, cultural tourism, and ecotourism. I did promise when I was here last year, na niliwaeleza ya kwamba mwaka uliopita, ya kwamba nitatengeneza jopo maalum ambayo itashughulika na jambo hili na March mwaka hu 2004 I appointed a presidential task force to work on this aspect to make sure that we harness the great potential of the home of humanity here in Turkana County and make sure that we establish a science park for research for innovation and for tourism here in Turkana County. Scientific discoveries such as the Turkana boy and the world's oldest stone tools have solidified Kenya's global credentials as the, as the home, as the first home of modern human beings. When completed, the museum and science park will celebrate these milestones, enable visitors to travel back in time to explore the origins of humanity and experience early technology. Turkana County is rich, not only in historic and geographic wonders, but it also abounds with unique wildlife, UNESCO listed sites, as well as the vast Lake Turkana Basin. The project will catalyze complementary investments to enhance infrastructure diversify tourism, and position the region as a hub for research, nature enthusiasts, and adventurers alike. At this festival, this year demonstrates year after year, the community is the engine of growth. The people are the primary stakeholders of our development agenda, even in the cultural and tourism sectors. We are committed to a community-based approach which ensures that residents benefit directly from job creation and improved livelihoods. Sustainable utilization of these opportunities will establish Kenya among global leaders in scientific discovery and niche tourism, accelerating economic growth 
here in Turkana and beyond. The recent recognition of Gedi ruins as a UNESCO World Heritage Site underscores Kenya's position as a top global tourism destination and reaffirms our commitment to preserving cultural and natural heritage. This aligns with our bottom-up economic transformation agenda's emphasis on inclusive growth and empowerment of people and communities at the bottom of the socio-economic ladder. By tapping into the tourism potential at sites like Gedi, we integrate our ambition to deliver prosperity with our vision to protect both ecological diversity and cultural integrity. As we celebrate Tobong Lore, we must also reflect the deep connection between people of Turkana and their land, the unique, diverse, and abundant potential nestled in this region's desert within and around Lake Turkana, including its unique wildlife and other attractions and opportunities, our treasured resources not only for Turkana, but for all of Kenya. We must therefore be mindful of the fact that these plentiful resources are underpinned by fragile ecosystems which require careful management to preserve them for future generations. It is our duty, all of us, to do our part in promoting their sustainability. Ladies and gentlemen, Turkana County and the entire region is fundamental for inclusive growth and for our national transformation agenda. Investments like the Lake Turkana Wind Power Project, which delivers clean energy and creates jobs while respecting environmental stewardship, are firmly aligned with this commitment and our broader vision for Turkana. Here, human talent and enterprise combine with culture and natural wealth to power economic growth. As we enjoy the performances that we have seen here, craft, cuisine, let us remember that Tobong Lore is our collective call to all humanity in our neighborhood, as well as farthest reaches of the earth, to come home and join us as we celebrate with humanity, protect our shared home, and cherish our cultural heritage. Let all the world know that no visa is required to come home and that Kenya is full of magical surprises to delight everyone. <laughs> the traditions we celebrate today are vehicles for transmitting our values, achievements, and aspirations to future generations. Let us stand together to tell a good story for our future. I invite you all to immerse yourselves fully in the festival, learn from one another, and carry forward the spirit of unity and respect for our shared heritage. Nimeona ni vizuri nisome hii tarifa kwa Kiingereza ndio mjue ya kwamba event hii sio event ya Turkana. Hii event ni event ya kitaifa. Na hii event ni event ya the whole world. This is where humanity began. And we want to profile this event as a global event. <laughs> Next time, we want to have tourists from across the globe coming to attend this event. Because that is the profile. That is the stature. That is the status of this event. The home of human origins is here. Na mimi nataka niwashukuru sana nimesikia viongozi wengi wameongea hapa. Mimi singependa kusema yale mambo wameuliza ni mambo mazuri. Ningependa tu kusema kama mambo matatu ambayo wameulizia. Jambo la kwanza ni mambo ya stima. Naelewa ya kwamba hapa hapa lodwa tuko na matatizo ya stima. Inafanyiwa rationing saa zingine inapotea na kuna matatizo kiasi. Na niliwaeleza ya kwamba njia ya kutatua hiyo tatizo ni kuunganisha lodwa na national grid. Ni kweli ama si kweli? 
mimi nataka niwatangazie kwamba hiyo mpango tumekamilisha na sasa kandarasi tumetoa na sasa tutaanza kujenga um, uh, transmission line kuunganisha hii load wa yenu tayari tumeweka pesa milioni tisa ya kujenga hiyo uh, line ya kuja mpaka hapa lodwa mimi nataka niwaeleze ya kwamba najua mumesema ikifika hapa lodwa mnataka iende mpaka kalokol sijui kalokol iko maneno gani kalokol iko maneno ya fisheries mnataka ifike huko ngojeni kwanza nifikishe hapa alafu tutapanga vile itafika huko ama mnasemaje mnataka iende moja kwa moja Allah nipeleke pole pole sawa sawa jambo la pili nilisema ya kwamba mliniuliza chata ya Turkana University si ni kweli mimi nataka niwaeleze hivi tulisha niliamuru university commission for university education waweze kupanga vile tutapatiana chata ya Turkana University na kulikuwa na mambo there are some facilities ambayo lazima ijengwe kwa sababu mimi nilisema hatuwezi kutumia njia ya mkato we cannot use a shortcut to give Turkana University a charter we must make sure that all the facilities that befit a university must be established in Turkana University so that when we give them a charter it is a charter that has every meaning like any other charter in Kenya shida kidogo tulipata ni kwamba wakati finance bill ilianguka na mnajua vile ilianguka si ndio Si mnajua finance bill ilienda ikapata sehemu nege hapo ikafanya hivyo. <laughs> hapo sasa ndio gapi katokea. Lakini tumekubaliana na mimi nataka wabunge wa Turkana wawe hapa. Nyinyi wabunge simameni ndio tukubaliane na nyinyi. Hawa wadosi hawa ndio wananipangia budget kule bunge. Si namna hiyo? Sasa waheshimiwa mimi nitapendekeza milioni sitini ya Turkana University katika supplementary mwezi ujao. Nyinyi mkipitisha bunge, mimi nakuja kutengeneza ile vifaa inahitajika kwa university, alafu chata itafuata. Si tumegawana kazi? Hawa jamaa si watafanya sehemu yao. Wakinipitishia budget, mimi nitakuja kuhakikisha kwamba all the facilities that are required in Turkana University are constructed so that we can give them a charter that is befitting any other charter in the Republic of Kenya. Ketini jini waheshimiwa. Tunaelewana? Jambo la tatu ambayo mumeniuliza ni kwamba mnataka pale Turkana Lake Turkana pia iwe na vifaa kama zile lakes zingine ni kweli ama si kweli tayari huyu eh, governor wetu nilituma waziri mvuria wamekuja wameongea na huyu governor wenu tumekubaliana ya kwamba tutaweka mpango maalum focusing on lake turkana as a resource na hivyo Tumesha kubaliana the way forward and we have already established a unit that is going to manage the affairs of Lake Turkana to make it and to exploit the potential that exists in Lake Turkana. Ya ine, mumesema ya kwamba wavuvi wanasumbuliwa pale na watu wa KWS. Ikweli, waziri ambaya nasimamia KWS ako katika hii mkutana. Uyu mama muna muona hapa. Sasa wewe mama panga watu yako ya KWS. Waambie wawachane na wavuvi. Wavuvi waendelee na kazi, waendelee na uvuvi na kazi ya KWS iwe ni kuchunga, wasipigwe na waziumizwe na wanyama na wasiumizwe na wakora. Na mimi nataka niulize governor wenu pamoja na uh, county commissioner wenu, county commissioner yuko pale, make sure you work with KWS and the minister here to make sure that the challenge and the problem we have between the fishermen and the community and, and the KWS is sorted out so that we can have a harmonious relationship between those uh, countries. 
Mimi vile vile nataka niwaeleze ya kwamba kwa yale mambo mengine yote ambayo tumekubaliana pamoja na nyinyi mimi niliamua ya kwamba hatutaki Kenya ya ubaguzi hatutaki Kenya ya migawanyiko tunataka tuunganishe taifa letu la Kenya mimi nataka niwaulize nyinyi watu wa Turkana sawa sawa mimi niliamua nikasema nitatengeneza serikali ya kuunganisha wa Kenya wote na nimechukua mpaka na waziri mawaziri kutoka sehemu ya upinzani ni kweli ama si kweli mimi nauliza nyinyi watu wa hapa Turkana mnasema mnataka tuunganishe Kenya ama mnataka tutenganishe tuunganishe ama tutenganishe hebu nione wale wanasema tuunganishe kwa hivyo tumesema hatutaki siasa ya ukabila hatutaki siasa ya migawanyiko hatutaki siasa ya ubaguzi tunataka tuungane kama watu wa taifa moja taifa letu la Kenya na nimesema kwa vyo vyote mbele na nyuma kulia na kushoto nitafanya bidii kuunganisha wananchi wote wa taifa letu la Kenya ndio nguvu yetu na mipango yetu tuelekeze kwa kuhakikisha ya kwamba tunazalisha uchumi tunazalisha nafasi za kazi tunaondoa njaa tunahakikisha ya kwamba vijana wetu wako na ajira ili Kenya iweze kupiga hatua ya kwenda mbele watu wa lodwa tunakubaliana jameni mimi naelewa ya kwamba mumesema mnataka hii lodwa na hii turkana iwe ni sehemu ya kuzalisha chakula waziri ambaye anasimamia mambo ya development authorities ni huyu mama askul sasa wewe askul wewe mama mturkana mimi nauliza nyinyi kwanza watu wa turkana mimi nilifanya makosa kuweka huyu mama waziri huyu mama anatosha ama atoshi anatosha ama atoshi mimi na furai ya kwamba mama mturkana leo anaketi katika baraza la mawaziri ya taifa letu la Kenya. Kama wa mama wa kutoka jamii zingine wanakaa kwa baraza la mawaziri kwani mturkana hawezi kukaa kwa baraza aendelea masiendelee keti mama so tumekubaliana na governor wetu um, my friend jeremia yuko hapa na governor wa west pokot kachapin tumeshakubaliana ya kwamba tuko na maji mingi sana pale Takwen. Hiyo maji imerudi nyuma karibu kilomita sita. Pale tuko na shirika la KBDA wako na ekari elfu hamsini. Mahali tunaweza kufanya irrigation. Wewe ya school waziri wangu ambaye unasimamia hiyo mambo. Sasa wewe nitakusaidia tupange hiyo 50,000 acres tuweze kuzalisha chakula ya watu wa West Pokot na watu wa Turkana hii ili ile matatizo hao wabunge wamesema matatizo ambayo inaleta uhasama kati ya jamii ya Turkana na Pokot tumalize pale wakati tutakuwa tunazalisha chakula kwa pamoja asante sana waziri so tutatembea pamoja katika hiyo barabara so that we can unlock the potential that exists in irrigation in this county and in the neighboring county here in Turkana kwa hivyo mimi nimefurahi sana kufika hapa Turkana na nimefurahi sana viongozi hawa wameongea na wamesema ya kwamba mnataka sisi wote tuungane kama viongozi ndio tuweze kutimiza yale mambo ambayo tumekubaliana na nyinyi mimi nataka nielewe ama nisikie kutoka Turkana 
Nini mwanataka tushirikiane ama mwanataka tutengane? Huyu Jeremia. Huyu Lomurunakai huyu Kamais. Munasema yeye afanye kazi na mimi ama yeye amangamange na wengine? Huyu jamaa, munataka yeye afanye kazi na mimi ama munataka aende ile kikundi ya ule mtu wa bangi? Hiko eh? kikundi ngine huko ya watu ambao wanaende ule mtu wa bangi ya naito nini? Ule wa, eh, wachakoya. Munataka huyu mtu waende kwa gurubi ya wachakoya ama akue na mimi hapa tupange mambo ya maendeleo? Tupangane pamoja? Ndiyo tusonge mbele? Ama muna semaja watu wa alodwari? Tuko pamoja? Tunaelewana? Sasa zikizeni. Najua mara nyingi mimi niliwaeleza. Koriai. <laughs> Wacheni kunihepa Kwa sababu mkipitia hapa muna nikuta niko mbele Mkipitia hapa muna nikuta mimi ndio huyo Ama namna gani Sasa mimi nimepanga mambo yenu Muko na waziri hapa Muko na PS Muko na ambassador Muko sijui na nani Kila mutu Hii serikali kalibu inakua ya waturkana eh? Sasa maswali yenu sasa mpunguze Ama namna gani Sasa tupange mambo ya maendeleo Mimi nitarudi hapa, mimi najua leo pengine kwa sababu ya shuguli, lakini mimi nitarudi hapa ni kuja nilale siku mbili, njyo tukubaliana na nyingi. Tumakubaliana? Tunaelewana? Koriai? <laughs> Let us promote our national and international commitments to preserve culture, heritage and honor our cultural diversity ensuring it remains a source of pride and inspirations for years to come. I am truly, truly grateful and happy to be part of this international event, Tobongulo Ray, as we celebrate the home of humanity. Thank you very much. God bless you. Mungu wabariki. Na ninawapenda sana. Tumekubaliana jameni. Mojeni kidogo. Tuketi kidogo. Sasa, mina otaka ni wauliza watu walodwa. Mumekubali tuunganishe team yetu ikue team moja? Yes. Mumekubali? Yes. Tuunganishe iwe team moja? Yes. Ebu nione wala anasema tuwe team moja? Yes. Kabisa, eh? Tutembee pa moja? Yes. Sasa, uyu mnyes, muna sema ni mpange? Yes. Na ndugu yangu elodepe? Yes. Ni wapange? Najua nilikuwa nimeona nimepanga panga Nikasema waja nilete kwanza kina school wakuja hapa Nilete kwanza ule erastas yeah, Lokale mbaya alikuwa speaker wenu Nika mpanga hapo Kapanga wengine Sasa hawa ndio wadosi watakuja nyuma So nipangane na hawa Habisa Alafu nipange njini pijana pia Kwa hile kazi mtaani Mnazema ni wapange pale <laughs> So, mimi nataka ni mkaribishe rafiki yangu mweshimiwa John Munyes. Asimame hapa na mimi. Uyu ndugu yangu John. So, muna kubali tufanya kazi na uyu John Jameni? Kukwe team moja? Ebu nisikia sauti ya waturkana wakisema ndiyo? Na wale teammates wake wengine wote... Mimi nataka niseme asante sana watu wa Turkana, watu wa Lodwar. Mimi nitarudi hapa tena tushirikiane na tutembee pamoja. Asanteni sana, Mungu awabariki. Thank you very much and God bless you. Naomba sote wananchi tafadhali tu